What up fam? Today we're looking dangerous with this leather eye patch. Stay tuned. So a large tablespoon is the only template we'll need for this build, as it is the perfect shape for an eye patch. This is also the perfect kind of project to use up this scrap piece of 8 ounce leather. I start by pressing the leather scrap into my spoon. This leaves behind a slight indentation to use as a guide for my cuts. I also drew in these two tabs on either side, just to have an area to connect the strap to later. With that all set, I carefully cut out the shape with a sharp razor. And using an edge beveler, I knock down any sharp corners on the front and the back of the eye patch. Then I wet the edges with a sponge and smooth them out with my slicker. This will make it look nice and clean and help it be more comfortable against my face. Now I've decided to use this decorative cabochon in my design. To make sure it's placed exactly where I want it, I moved it into position and pressed it into the leather, leaving an indent behind. With that as my mark, it was easy to punch a hole right where I needed it. Now that I have a good center mark, I wet down my leather and use a stylus to make the general shape of my design. Then I stamped in some oak leaves and cut in the branches with my swivel knife. Now I decided to put the cabochon back in place to help me position the rest of my pieces. To add to the overall look, I'm using these metal spots. These are just little metal domes with two sharp legs that act like a staple. Using the points on the legs, I make marks along my drawings to evenly space out the spots. Then I use an awl to punch small holes on these marks through the leather. With that all figured out, I remove the cabochon and prepare to shape the eye patch. To do this, I'm just using this weighted sandbag that I have. Now it just has a Ziploc bag with sand in it, so feel free to use something like that if it's all you have. I also decided to add some thin suede to the top just to stop the texture of my bag from marking up the eye patch. Next, I thoroughly wet the leather to make it more pliable. Then positioned it onto my sandbag and used the spoon to press it into shape. This is gonna wet form it into a dome shape so that the patch doesn't irritate your eye. Then using my fingers to correct any flaws, I put it aside to dry. While that dries, I pulled out some more leather to cut out my straps. I started by drawing out the rounded bits at the end where they're gonna connect to the eye patch. I trim around those with a razor knife and then use a rotary cutter to cut quarter inch bands about two feet in length. Now for color, I'm using this jug of USMC Black. With such a big bottle, I'm easily able to dip dye these strips into a beautiful uniform black. Now once the patch is dried, I use this light brown dye to cover the whole piece in a nice even coat. After which I applied a coat of Rosaline just to add some protection and a little bit of shine to the piece. Next, I busted out this block of beeswax to burnish the edges as well as to finish off the back. This leaves a nice smooth edge and lays down the nap on the back side of the leather, leaving a shiny finish. With that looking sexy, it was time to put in my spots. To do this, I just push them through the holes that I made earlier. This exposes these little legs through the back. These, you can bend over just like staples to lock the spot into place. After getting the rest of them into place, I screwed on the cabochon and bam! I love how this is coming out. Now we just need to attach those bands. To do this, I simply positioned them where I wanted them and punched a hole through the band and the eye patch. Then I just connected them together with a rivet. And after completing the other side, we are left with one bad mother of an eye patch. And this thing fits perfectly and automatically gives me a plus two to intimidation. I hope you enjoyed this project. Do not forget to like and subscribe. And as always, keep leveling up, you.